letting go is a choice. It does not always feel that way. Trust me, I know. Our goal is that through this practice, that choice becomes one that you can actually see. And softly close your eyes once you're ready. Begin to invite the breath to become as calm and relaxed as it wishes. Trusting whatever flow you personally like best. You can trust yourself and your body. Letting yourself feel more relaxed as you deeply exhale. If that's what feels right to you. explore in your body what muscles you're currently using that you could, in fact, let go of. What do you not need to use that you're using? Invite the muscles to relax. And in doing so, we do a tiny beginning practice for letting go. Using your own pace, flow your awareness through your body, exploring any and all areas where you can release muscles now and practice letting them go. slowly you find your body becoming heavier and heavier the more you let it relax. The more you let gravity hold you instead of trying to fight against it for no reason really. you relax this way. If there's any muscles still holding on, that's okay. Let yourself off the hook. Let those muscles off the hook and simply return your awareness to your breath. Any feelings of relaxation within you and the words you're hearing. As we prepare ourselves to deepen this practice significantly. Take a moment to really feel yourself here right now. Tuning in to the points of contact between you and the surface on which you're resting. Feeling the air on your skin. And then tuning in inwards again. inside your body, whatever that experience is like for you. And as 
as you are here in this space. Let yourself be as relaxed as feels good to you now. As you enjoy the following messages, letting them wash over you, helping make a change, both consciously and perhaps on a much deeper level as well. That which you are holding on to may seem like it is something you cannot let go of, but that is actually just your current perception. At any given moment, there are an infinite number of ways to perceive anything we only have a very limited amount of information about, really, almost anything in life, as there's always a further. So why? Why should we tell ourselves there's only one way something can be? For truly, if we're holding on to it, we must believe that there's only one way it can be. We're either trying to be right or good, when there's a million ways to view right and good. Or perhaps we're holding someone against us as being wrong and bad. There's a million ways to view it. And while yes, if this is the case for you, this certainly requires a bit of a deeper relaxation and greater understanding. Even so, it is still possible to let go. Ask yourself, would you rather feel so good within you and around you, connected to love? Or would you rather feel disconnected and in pain? Sometimes, choosing to feel good in the face of that which feels bad is an incredibly hard decision to make and to choose. However, it is our work and we must choose it. We must choose to listen to our hearts and that which really lights our bodies up, makes our bodies feel good even if our minds wish to rail against it. It's only because they've been trained to do so. They've been trained to have a narrow perception. The mind will soon follow the body. Once we let go of needing to be in our heads, judging, comparing, separating, When we can instead enter into the physical form, feel the peace within,
When we do this, we instantly let go, for we are choosing peace instead. It is that simple. And you are that powerful. Invite yourself to take a big deep cleansing breath if that's what feels good and right to you. And either way, tune into your inner experience again. If you've drifted out of it, come back in. Feel that warmth in your heart of wanting to choose what feels good to you. It's so funny how when we do this, we sometimes discover the body actually feels good in the face of that which we've been railing against when we let go of all our judgments about it. The body can find that perception when we stop holding it back with our limited ones. Let the body feel its way into a different perception. Let the mind just focus on the body. Feel the good feelings coming to you. There is a solution, a grand majestic one that is headed your way. Feel the energy of it, your body knows it. find and relax into genuine feelings of gratitude within you as you feel thankful for this perspective in the form of energy in your body. You know your body as an animal is sensing something that the mind cannot. It is sensing a deeper truth here, a hidden meaning, hidden from the mind but right there in plain sight waiting for the body to discover it. There is another reality that exists here for you, one where you've let go of that which you were holding on to. And you've instead entered into something new, something unknown, something your body knows that the mind does not. Tune into it. Feel it. For truly it is only a feeling. However, if an inspired thought, idea, sound, smell, feeling, or anything like that begins to come to you, you can trust it and let your mind notice it. And then when it feels right to you, return your awareness to the good feelings in your body. Trust yourself in your experience of this 
And either way, stay present with the good feelings within you. With that brilliant body that is so wise, it was able to line up with a whole new reality via energy. Tune in to how good it feels. Feel yourself letting go of needing it to be anything other than what it is. Letting this be enough for you. Invite your body to relax even more now. Becoming even heavier. as you let go of any kind of goal, any need for outcome, and you just appreciate your ability to feel good in this moment now. is the true letting go. waiting for you to see it, but knowing full well that there are hidden lessons in not seeing it, lessons you chose and signed up for in this life, so it's all okay. You weren't meant to discover the choice you had in the matter until you were ready, and now is the time. Dear love, the time is here. Your time has come. The time is now for you to start again, fresh and anew. Letting the mind be completely blank about what that is, and instead, letting your body be the lure for you. Let that be the gift you deserve. For when you choose that feeling in your body, when you choose the good feeling wisdom you have within, you choose you on a very profound level. And then 
also notice how you feel as though you're receiving feelings of gratitude for this from somewhere else. As if you feel like you must express your welcome. Of course. As if the mind and the body are communicating differently. Each thanking the other. Thanking the other for better understanding each other's roles now. For now the mind knows the body can lead the way through its natural ability to decipher energy through physical sensation. It's safe to let go and to relax into the trust of your own physical, positive sensations and well-being. body suggests that you take action that makes no sense to the mind, but makes the body feel so good. Such as times when the mind wishes to fight, but the body wishes to feel love and relaxation. yourself feel more relaxed as you deeply exhale. Feeling your presence inside your body.
Say thank you to yourself for being here. Feel an appreciation for everyone doing this across all timelines. And feel yourself receiving their gratitude back. Congratulations and a wonderful job.